In this video, we're gonna talk about the high tide manufacturing grease gun. This is the Big Mountain Destroyer directional cambered board. You can send a line with it. It's got a deep side cut and it's tapered. It's got a little freestyle focus to it in the tail so you can still spin when you're popping off things. It's kind of a versatile aggressive charging board. It is more in the all mountain free ride side of things, but it still handles freestyle when you put it to it. This board features traditional camber, which is what High Tide utilizes across their board line. It's a very mellow traditional camber, so you have three to four millimeters in there, so it's easy to engage, but it's still gonna have that snap and pop of traditional camber. This board is only available in regular sizes. I bet you like grease guns, don't you, you oily, oily little unicorn man. Oh, oh, shit, we're going into the review. Overall, the grease gun has a directional, middle-of-the-road flex pattern. Softer nose, stiffer tail. Progressively, you notice that the board starts to stiffen up about midway through the nose, back to the tail. There's actually a decent amount of torsion I'll give to it to really make this board a little more maneuverable, and you can twist and play with it. Overall, the board is super stable. I noticed a little bit of chatter in really rutted out terrain at high speeds, but it wasn't enough to make me slow down. And it really didn't affect the ride all that much. The board was damp yet still lively. So one of the things with a board like this is usually you have to aggressively load it when it's traditional camber to get pop out of it. With this board, you don't, and you still get a lot of rebound and snap out of it so you can boost off anything you want. There's a flex point right at the end of the camber zone right by the up kick that really lets you butter on the nose. You can just engage it, it locks in, it's playful, it's fun. This is a board for high speed free ride butters and it does it. It's not the easiest to engage but it's not the hardest. It takes a little bit more effort. You just have to be prepared and know what movements you're going to do to interact with the board to get it to do what you want it to do. This board takes little to no effort to get it on edge, and it's nimble and quick just the way you would want it to drive a turn. When you're on edge, you can center flex the crap out of this board and really drive the apex of the carb and just push it in. Getting it on edge on steeper, rutted out terrain, it never washed out, it never buckled, it just plowed through everything in its path and kept going. This board knows how to charge. It's designed for that. So who's this board for? It's for the resort powder guy, that guy that's slashing snow a lot and then still needs a board that he can carve when he's on a groomer or on days when the pow is tracked out. This is that board, and it doesn't suck. High Tide's got a good thing going for it, and I think more people should check out this underrated brand. The Grease Gun. Let's see what stacks up to this board. The Yes Standard. The Rome Sawtooth. The GNU Muller. The Libtech Swiss Knife the DC Super Net. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're gonna get and you're going to decide where you're gonna buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below. That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification, and I'll see you guys in another video.